we are back ladies and gentlemen and it's day 172 of sobriety and today i don't have any music because i just get tired of some reason so i thought a little chat a little talk because i haven't done that in a while it's closing in on six months and it's some things that are, are after this um, hard couple of weeks it really feels like that was so important for me to have that and go through that and not relapse just hold on to whatever i had and share about it and be truly honest about it and and it, it it really have taken away even if i can miss being high like smoke a joint and just relax after training or surfing it's it's just it's just something like sometimes I miss eating a big double whooper with double fries and a Coca Cola, but I don't do it. So it's more like that. In some reason, sobriety feels so good. Really, it. it even if I have these weird thoughts sometimes, but in in the 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 foundation after this starting to be very good, and it feels good, but then also the thoughts of the future and what I'm doing is this the right way to do it? Is the fitness thing something I really, really want to do in a bigger scale? Or is that something I really enjoy to doing on the scale where I have it? And, and there's lots of mixed feelings about it. But then I also feel a lot about this channel. Like, whoa, here is an opportunity to re really do something cool and uh, good. Because first of all, we I live in a beautiful place. I talked about this before. But the main purpose of the channel is sobriety. It's about showing that it is possible and showing the road to come back and make something meaningful of life and show that it is possible and you maybe don't need to go the normal way to if it's a normal way i don't know but that that is possible to create whatever you want And I really like to, to create content, maybe necessarily not just doing this, but that's the start of this channel. This is just the start. And I, when I think about stopping doing videos, it doesn't feel good at all. This is something I, I, I see myself want to do a long time, or maybe even do it on full time when we reach uh, a, a certain subscribers we are at 746 and i know a lot of subscribers are here for the music or subscribe for the music and only show up for the music and so on but that's fine that that that's nothing i have a problem with because for me it's the sobriety that is the most important it's not the music the music is just a filler of it it's just something because I love music and I think that's a 
great way to 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 have because music is really important for me that's what what i do i live alone i'm single i have three dogs and a cat music is a big companion in my life and that's also another thing i want to touch on is relationship and I really, really enjoy being single. And I I think I always enjoy to be single in, in one way and not enjoying so much when I'm in a relationship because I can't really handle it. And of some reason it's been more accepted in me that it's so much work for me and so much emotions and so much struggles and so much pain to be in a relationship with another person. So it's more or less accepted that I want to stay single. And now I know many of you probably, yeah, but you haven't met the right one. I met the right one so many times in my life. So many times, and I've been together with the right one. So many times. So for me, it's the 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 issue is not the other person. The issue is me. And if I feel so balanced by being alone, I think that's just what I should do. And why I'm speaking on it because I. I meet women when I'm surfing, when I'm doing other things, when I go outside and I meet women and I, and it's no interest. It, it's just like from going from a person with a super high sexual, being super sexual. And sex has been a super, super important thing in my life since I was 14, 15. When did I lose my virginity? 15. It's been always uh, such a sex needs to be there. And now I don't even bother. And that's such a relief. <laughs> it's, it's the fucking best thing that ever happened except for being sober. And my testosterone level are normal. It's just this that I don't need it in that way that I needed before. And it's such a fucking amazing feeling to not have this high sexual force inside me that just fucking been working since I was a teenager. Fucking amazing. <laughs> it's just the mind is clear in another way than just thinking about women and sex. So, um, and I also have this feeling of that something really good is going to happen. And I talked about this ayahuasca session I had 2011. These four sessions I have where Mother Ayahuasca told me that you're going to get the best life that, and all your wishes will come through when you stop, stop putting drugs in your body. And, and I can feel that a door open to something unknown but very great something that's coming and I don't really can put my fingers on it but it's something and I know this feeling from before many years ago when things are going the right way even if other things maybe doesn't seem to go so good with finances and everything is this feeling and stability and some kind of serenity that appears 
and I dream really good dreams, except for when I had to kill this animal. <laughs> but but uh, uh, is something going on that is good? And I feel that it's I I I just it's a good. And it's it's really been hard. Sobriety has been it's been a rough ride up to now. And it's normally never like this. This goes very easy for me, and uh, I just can start everything and everything. Yes, bum 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 bum. But this time it's just been taking quite a long time to to come to where I am today in this feeling. Maybe change tomorrow, but I feel so much grounded. And something I take away the stress. And yeah, it's a feeling of everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right if I just continue on this road and I don't need to really worry anymore so let's see how long i've been talking only 12 minutes but and i'm really grateful for for this that i that i started this channel because it helped me so much and having a support from you that cares about my sobriety is is such a amazing thing. It, it really is. And it it really worked so far to making videos about it and document it and have this and have something to do in the evening to that is about my sobriety, that I do for my sobriety, what I, that I do for my life. That's really special. And another thing that I talked about it is not going to meetings. <laughs> I haven't gone on meetings for a week now. And I think I just needed this. I will go go to, back to me this. But I got so fucking bored of listening to the same fucking shit over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I've been taking a week to not go to meetings. And it doesn't really feel like I just needed it. It just gets this repeat, repeat, and it's just not healthy for me. I guess just pissed off, and that's not the purpose of it, I think. And then somebody, yeah, but if you pissed off, maybe not in Bennett, blah, blah, blah. I've gone so, to so many meetings in my life. And soon I, uh, and I also, start to 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 think about how how the mind works and as i told before i like to go to meeting but is it really necessary i don't know or is it just that somebody told me that you need to go to meetings otherwise you're gonna relapse I don't think really it's the meetings that does makes anybody the lack of meetings. It's the lack of creating, I think. But anyway, I'm not gonna stop going to meetings in that way, but it feels really good to to take in a break from meetings. For a week yeah well 
just have something to talk about because I got a little tired of picking music and uh, doing that. So, and I gonna um, when the next swell coming for surfing, I heard some somebody uh, maybe filming surfing later i have my friend up here on the street that has a good drone i'm gonna ask him how much he charge for an hour of filming then i can edit it myself okay now i talk too much oh no i have not i needed to get this off my chest little so tomorrow is day 173 and we're gonna listen to some music. Let's see what I pick. Thank you so much, guys. If you are here after 60 minutes of talking, thank you so much for supporting me. With that said, stay strong, stay safe, and always, always stay and feel blessed. Peace. Oh.